This morning, one of the worst airline meltdowns in U.S. history. It's been catastrophic. It's been a failure at every level um, at Southwest. More than 3,900 flights were canceled in the U.S. yesterday, but just one airline, Southwest, accounted for more than 70 percent of those cancellations. The airline canceling at least 2,900 of its flights, more than 70 percent of its entire schedule. And today, hardly any better, with 60 percent of its flights not taking off. My daughter's in New York City all by herself, you know, very sad. It ruined our Christmas. What started as weather-related cancellations quickly snowballed into a system-wide meltdown. We end up with flight crews and airplanes that are out of place and not in the cities that they need to be in to continue to run our operations. And because Southwest does not partner with any other airlines, passengers could not be rebooked on other flights. The line for Southwest ticket counters snaking through airports, extending outside terminals. In some cases, the airline turned to buses to carry travelers. You realize you're on Southwest, not Greyhound, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. But many frustrated passengers waited hours only to be told there was nothing that could be done for them. The customer service line jammed with wait times of five hours or more. At one point, the phone servers crashed, leaving passengers and airline crew members lost and confused. We have pilots, we have flight attendants who don't have uh, hotels, who, who they truly just don't know where they are. The Department of Transportation overnight called Southwest rate of cancellations unacceptable and said it will examine whether cancellations were controllable and if Southwest is complying with its customer service plan. One man was told the earliest he could get a flight is Thursday. The situation possibly affecting his health. I got to go home. We didn't bring, we didn't bring no medication for four or five days. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, New York.